In this video, we're going to show how you can do a wireless broadcast remote using a Tyline Commander field unit. Now, in this video, this is going to start off with a manual connection straight out of the box, as if you just picked this up and you connected, and we're going to do a 20 kilohertz mono wireless broadcast using a microphone, we've got a pair of headphones, we've got an antenna, which is connected to a wireless module. This specific one is set for the Sprint network, although you also have Verizon, AT&T, and Alltel available. And we also have a battery module for wireless uh, broadcasts. Now, we're going to plug in the battery first with a four pin XLR connector. It snaps into place. It cannot fall out during the broadcast. And we're going to plug in the headphones to headphone number one. And the microphone is going to be plugged into input number one. <clears throat> and there is input number one plugged in with a microphone. Now, we need to set it for a mic level. So we're going to go to the screen where it says AUD. These are shortcut buttons at the bottom of the screen. This one, AUD for audio, we press the button. It goes to input gains. We press the button again. We go to input number one using the menu selector knob to navigate on the screen here. We've selected input one. We're going to press the button. We're going to go from a line level using the menu selector knob to a high gain mic. Press the white button and now it is set for a mic level input on input number one. We're going to go back to the main screen by pressing clear, the clear button here is as if you pressed escape on a keypad on a, a keyboard, for instance. Now we're going to press input number one to turn the channel on, and to set the level, we'll turn the mic up or down on input number one's audio level here, and you can see the VU meter on the screen. Now we want to set the level so it's just going up to the black, so you have a perfect audio level going into the unit. We're now ready to connect and make a wireless broadcast happen. Now what we're going to do is connect to the wireless module. We've highlighted 3G IP1, which is the wireless module over to the right. It says simply press enter, and this indicates a signal strength of 5. Now the signal strength of anywhere from 4 to 9 is acceptable for broadcast. Anything below a 4 is dicey. So we're going to press enter by pressing the enter dial button here and then you can see that it's connecting to the Sprint network. Now it says connected and go to IP, so we're going to go to IP by once again using the menu selector knob to go to IP1, and we're going to enter an IP address which is similar to a phone number except it's got dots in it. And the particular address we're going to enter is 68 dot, and for the dot we can use either the star or the pound key, 68.23.15 dot one one six and then we're going to connect by pressing the enter dial button like so Now, once we press connect it has connected and we're at 96 kilobits these numbers here show how good the network connection is and we are now connected to the studio in a mono 20 kilohertz configuration so we can talk into the mic you can see the level here on the mic you can see the return audio coming from the studio and we're now on the air now that's a manual connection straight out of the box without doing anything else except for the few steps we did and we're now on the air. But what we're going to do is press the hang up button and we're going to press it again to confirm yes we want to hang up the connection. Now I've hung up not only the connection on IP but also the wireless module. And what we're going to do is show you now how you can make an automatic one button connection by pressing the menu selector knob and you'll see these shortcut buttons at the bottom change. These are shortcut cues. We call this one Go, button number one. This was configured by the engineer ahead of time. It only takes a few seconds, and we'll show you that, uh, how to do that in another video. After we press the menu selector knob, this Go button appears. All we have to do is press this one single button, and you can see that it's connecting to the Sprint network and then it connected and now it's connecting on IP1 without you having to do anything and it changed the configuration to stereo. In addition, we can set it ahead of time so that it changes the input level of input number one and number two to a high gain mic. So with a single button that was configured by the engineer, 
you press a button that a non-technical person can press and in doing that they've not only connected to the Sprint network they've connected to the studio they changed the configuration of this for mono to stereo and changed the configuration of the unit back at the studio and input number one and number two when it connected changed its state from whatever it was before to a high gain mic level setting all with a single button called go and that is a wireless broadcast.